the secrets if you really look at yourself you will be speechless what happened to being doctors and teachers what happened to being your brother's keeper nowadays kids more worried Hey guys, how's it going? Ben here, and welcome to the third part of the 200th quest. Now, we're going to be doing the Defender of Ark with Reldo, and let's see what he's got to say for himself. I always skip through this stuff so the video's a bit quicker. Must be able to defeat a level 42 armored zombie weak to magic. So, required items, a zombie outfit, an empty vial, three tin ore, four firings, one nature rune. Okay, I'm going to have to go get those. So, wow, you get some serious combat XP. Don't you have to even have major defense and... Oh, wow, that's all right, isn't it? So... Oh, we get 600 of the marks as well. So I'm going to have to go get myself some stuff. Um, so I'll probably accept this quest and I'll go get the stuff I need for it now. Zombie outfit, empty vial, three tin ore, four fire runes, and a nature rune. Cool. I'll go get that now. Now that we've accepted it. Come on, skip through and I'll go grab those things. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, Rello. Um, oh, screw it. Well, you know what? We'll go through this dialogue. Um, what is it? Um... What the hell? What? I'm, I, I should have read this. Yes, the plan. Let's see. Let's see. Skip through this. Skip through this. We can get to him. How difficult can it be to remove the control from him? Uh, pretty darn difficult. But I like your... Oh, wow. What's that even mean? Talk to Arav in the main hall. See if he's interested in this folly. So, I'm going to talk to him. I'm just going to get all the stuff we need first. Okay, guys. So, I've just completed all of the easy tasks. I didn't mean to. I was just doing them for a bit of money. And um, let's see. I've collected one out of 50 treasure chests. You done all simpleton tasks. Awesome. Upgraded Vark armor to mine fast. That's awesome. So, um, do we not get any? Oh, I thought we'd get some Zemo marks for it. Never mind. Oh, that's a bit of a pain. Anyway, I'm going to go get some more. I sh should probably keep these emeralds. They might come in useful, but I need to get some more money. I'll just do what I did last time. Pickpocket loads of zombies for loads of stuff. So, I'll do that, and I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, I'm going to try something stupid. So, there's these Vark guard captain dudes. I'm going to try safe spot him. Look at this. See if this works. Come on. Yes, it's worked. Oh my goodness. I don't have many um, bolts, but hopefully I'll be able to finish them off with the ones I've got. Now, having said that, I've only got 50. I doubt I'm going to be able to survive. Let's try it anyway. See if we can do this. So, there. Is that going to... I don't think this is going to work, guys. The reason I'm going to try kill him is because I have a feeling he's going to drop something good. Um, and now I've said that, I bet he drops absolutely nothing, does he? Come on, finish him off. There we go. That's what we'd like to see. A big hit. Come on. Right, I'm probably going to skip past this. This is going to take forever. Okay, guys, he's nearly dead. This has probably been the longest, like, time I've killed one thing. Like, I swear, I've killed, like, a Raxor quicker. Well, I haven't even killed a Raxor, but I have died against him quicker than I've killed this dude. So, there we go. He's dead. What's he drop us? Crossbow string. Is that a joke? Oh, I'm done. I quit. I quit. I quit RuneScape. See you later, guys. I'm going. So, those crossbow strings, they sell for a GP each. I've had some already. So, that's why I'm perhaps not as impressed as some people might be with it. So, let's go sell it. I believe we only need a couple more things, but one of them is a nature rune, which costs 300 marks. Like, which is an absolute fortune to be paying. I uh, am currently kind of looting chests at the moment because... Wait, did I? I never bought those arrows, did I? Hopefully not. There we go. Sell those. Got some more money back. I got some runes, but I don't want to sell them. And same with the emerald and the gold, because they could come in useful later. Also, I don't think there is a bank. So, everything we have, we've got to keep on us, which is kind of strange. But it's kind of, I don't know, it makes it a lot harder, but it makes it a lot better. I know, it's a weird one. How do we get back there? Oh, it's okay, just around the corner, of course. Open this chest, see what we get from in this. And, oh, we just got three undead beef. So, I still need to make a load of money for this quest, so I'll do that, and I'll be back in a Okay, guys, so I just pickpocketed eight nature runes. You have to buy those for, like, f just shy of 400 marks each. And that's what I've been saving up for all this time. And I just managed to pickpocket one. Well, eight, which is absolutely awesome. I got loads of gems and stuff I don't know if I need. But you've nowhere to deposit your items. So it's like, well, what do I do? Wait a second. Let oh, what's with that lag just then? Let's check how much he sells them for. Um, don't be expensive. Okay, they're not bad. All right, I'll probably get rid of my emeralds and my um, sapphire then because I don't know what I could really need them for at the moment. And if they're easy to get back, it doesn't seem really too worth having them. So let's get rid of them. Freeze up some invent space. Um, I'll keep that gold ore though because I haven't seen any gold ore yet. Let's get rid of that and all the other stuff. So what I was doing for money is um, was I was pickpocketing the zombies and... Oh, don't sell three of those for Christ's sake, just the one. 
I was pickpocketing zombies and selling the loot you get. A lot of the loot is worth quite a bit, so it was kind of like in my best interest to just sell it all. But, um, that was what I was going to do for the, my nature room, but I got natures now, so that's all good. What else did I need? I needed a vial. That's it. Just a vial and I can do everything in the quest. So let's see. So, I've got a zombie outfit, an empty vial, three tin ore, four fire runes. Oh, no, I don't have an empty vial. I've got the tin ore, I've got the fire runes, got the nature rune. And I'm wearing the zombie outfit as well, guys. If you didn't see, that costs like 400 marks. So that was quite expensive. So if you search this desk, get yourself a free vial. And, um... So, he's weak to magic, this zombie, so I could do with a staff, but I'll see how I do with my sword at the moment. If it goes tits up, I'll have to just swap to magic. But anyway, I'm going to go there and start the quest. See you guys in a second. So, I'm going to talk to Arav and see what he has to say. I'm pretty sure you can't, that I can't talk right now. Um, oh, fucking hell, they're getting angry, aren't they? Jesus, wept. So, let's see. Arav's really cool, I like him. Um, would you be willing... Oh, shit. Um, I pressed the wrong one. Will you be willing to take him down? Um... If it were possible, but the prophecy states that I will forever be under his control. Um, okay, so he seems pretty done, doesn't he? So, um, tell Relda what I've learned from Arav. So, Relda, where are you? I think this might be one of the longer videos. Because um, I don't um, remember this quest being particularly short. So, let's see. Um, so, is, is it going to be like a complete rerun of the last quest? Just a little bit different. Because um, the Defender of our quest is actually pretty good. Um... What? I've just spoken to Reldo. Oh, I should find a set of important notes about Arav. Reldo said somewhere in the Varak library. So, we need to check in the library. Search the bookcases by the looks of things for some cool boy notes. Um, I don't know if these are going to be taking forever, so I'll probably just skip this for you guys. Okay, I found some heart magic notes. Let's see what this says. Um, oh, so it is about Arav. That's what we needed to find. Do we need to give those to Reldo? Um, yep. I'll give them to Reldo. See what he has to say. Reldo, what do you got to say? I found it. Um, it describes, yep, some cool stuff. So, does that mean we can carry on with the quest? Um, so, was that what we needed? I think it was. I need to break the black prism in his reliquary in the treasure room on the first floor of New Var Palace. So, I need to go up to the first floor. Where's the... Um, how the hell do I get to the first floor? We can't go in the throne room, I don't believe. I've tried that already. So, there should be a ladder somewhere going upwards. So, where do we go? We can't go through that door. It's a door, though. Come on. How can't we go through? Um, I'm going to probably skip this and find out where I've got to go and get back to you guys. Okay, I found the staircase. It was in the bottom right of the place. So, we've got to go into his little room place. What was it? We had to... Armored zombies. Hello. So, I need to break the black prism in his treasure room on the first floor um so where's the treasure room we're on the first floor there should be a black prism somewhere gotta look out for it come on what's with this lag load up the game for goodness sake oh is this it oh went to purple barrier oh what that's bull can we enter the red barrier we're a zombie for christ's sake we can enter anywhere oh maybe we gotta go in the armored zombie room because we're a zombie can we go in no we can't go in there didn't he say the wilderness of similar berries? It was something about killing armored zombies and bottles of red mist. Ah, so we've got to go into here, kill ourselves a zombie, get some red mist. I forgot about that. Goodness me, it has been a really long time since I was last, like, killing armored zombies. Back when they were supposedly the best XP an hour. I don't think they are anymore, but still, let's kill one of them. Hopefully he's not going to be too hard. Oh, no, this is easy mode. Easy mode, as if we need rooms. Come on, let's just finish him off. Um, okay, I'll not finish him off. I'm not used to hitting so little. Like, even on my Iron Man, I'm pretty good now. Um, my guy is anyway. He hits quite a bit. So, there we go. He's dead. What's he got on him? Um, the Red Mist. We need to collect the Red Mist. Red Mist looks different, doesn't it? Okay, we collected the bottle of Red Mist. So, do we go over here now and use it? I think we might well do. So, let's just regenerate, get our health back. Oh, Red Barrier, Red Barrier, Red Barrier. Can we go through this Red Barrier? We should be able to. Yes, we got through it. We had some red mist and we got through. So we want to go up here. This dude knows where he's going. Following him, just see where he goes. Um, or not. Because we've hit a dead end or something, have we? Oh, no, there's a red barrier here. We'll go through this red barrier. Don't know where he's going. Should be a black prism somewhere. Um, hoping we can see it somewhere. We don't run out of, like, usages of this, do we? Oh, inspect tin soldier. It, the tin soldier's in a pretty bad state. I reckon he's a head and three lumps of tin to be able to be superheated into a chassis. So, we've got the three 
tin ore. Oh, we need to superheat. Oh, I see. So we need to find a head for it and we need to superheat it. You know what? That's interesting. We will still go look for that black prism though because that seems to be the thing we want to be doing. Oh, human detection spell. Jesus, where? Oh dear. Can't go through there then. Where do we go? Where do we go? We go through here. Right, I'm going to find out where we've got to go exactly and I'll be back in a second. Okay, the treasure room safe. Is this? Yes, that's the black prism. Um, I need a four letter code and some decoder strips. Okie doke. So where the hell do we find those? Where did we find them in the normal quest? I can't remember. Scry, scrying pool. What's this? Um, what the hell? What's this? I'm fine, thanks. I don't know what scry means. Some kind of a bit. Um, if you're in scrying pool, generation three model black. Like, scrying pool can be connected via blue. blue, blue, blue. Um, I don't know what that does. Oh, why are we looking for this stuff? Oh, I need to find those code strips. Okay, you know what? I'm going to have a little nosy around a bit longer. And uh, when I actually have made some progress, I'll let you guys know. So I thought I'd just superheat this tin ore while I'm here. Um, wait a second, why tin ore? What's that going to make? Um, oh, I need copper as well. Okay, why is it telling me to super... Oh, I'm so confused. So... Yeah, I thought I was going to be a smartass and actually do something then. I wasn't. Okay, some really cool dudes just helped me out. Because um, I need to get the strips and you guys know I've been running around like a headless chicken looking for them. And I finally know where to find them. They're in the room with the zombies apparently. So I'm going to go there and see if I can find some strips. I don't know whereabouts they are. Oh, search this. Oh, the decoder strips, of course. Here we go. So we've got some decoder stri uh, th th strips and we need something else. God, I wonder if that dude could tell me where the other things are. Do we need another thing? I've literally looked everywhere. I don't know where else we could, like, get stuff from. So let's take these decoder strips. And is that everything we need? I think it might be. Unless there's, like, something else we need, in which case I'm kind of screwed. Hopefully not, though, because that would be a massive pain. If not, I'll have to ask someone else here and see what they've got to say. Um, unlock treasure room safe. Let's see, then. Um, oh, I need a four-letter code. So I don't know what the code is. Where can I find the code? Right, I'll skip past all this. See you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, I made progress. I made progress. I don't know how, but I'm searching this dude, and he's not got anything of use. Is that real? There are some dwell bellies in the gnome's pocket, but you don't see any reason to take them right now. So, I thought I'd made progress. I haven't, but I'm looking downstairs. Some dude told me that I need to get something else, like a head for the dude before I... um can get the code that I'm looking for. So that's what, kind of what I'm looking for at the moment. But I have a feeling we could take Arav's head. Um, I don't know why I'm getting a little bit nervous. Not nervous, but I found the door needs a decoder for, yep, and for like code. They're not on the ground floor. I can't really tell you more than that. Okay, so they're not down here. I'm looking for the head of a tin, tin soldier. Um, I know of no such thing without within the palace. Look without. Oh, so we've got to look outside the palace for the head. And the code is definitely upstairs. You know what? I'm going to look outside for the um, for the head. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. So guys, I've been told that if I speak to Reldo, I can get myself a head. Um, I don't know how legit this is, but I'm hoping it's true. Um, oh, here we go. He might tell us. I expect he'd keep the code somewhere secure. Probably in his laboratory on the first floor. Is what? Oh, I see. So we need the head. We need to find a head. An odd request well as an in to announcing the trial of the soldiers just outside the East Bank. Little fellow stands on a box. Okay, we have found it. Yes, we can get the head then we can go through the um, barrier thing we're not allowed through because we're not human because we'll be in that suit thing. Oh, this is all going so well. I am happy now. I've been running about not knowing what to do for ages. I'm going to go talk to that dude. See you guys in a little bit. So I think it was this trial announcer they were banging on about. I'm hoping it was. Um, are there any... Oh, can I have a tin soldier head? Um, he wants to decapitate the head of a robot warrior. Why? Um, I couldn't. I don't, I don't know. Just that one. There we go. He's given us it. That's what we needed. So now if I go back, I can put that on, get in the suit, go through, get the code, go and destroy that thing. Awesome. I've got this sorted. Thank goodness for that. See you guys up there. So guys, I'm here. I'm going to use the head. Just inspect the tin soldier now. Would you like to repair it? Replace it? Yes, we would. And, um... Now what have I got to do? I've got to use some stuff. How do you get into it? I'll find out for you. Let's see. So, if we inspect it now, it says, um, your tin on runes prepare the soldier. Go, go, okay. I don't know what that means, but there we go. 
So, now if I inspect him, what does it say? Empty vial of red mist into the soldier, yes. And now inspect. Tin soldier looks fully operational. Um, if I take off all my stuff, will it let me in? Is that the deal? Talk to Reldo? I don't know. I'm going to try talking to Reldo now. Um, so, yeah, let me get my stuff back on. And uh, if that works, I'll let you guys know. So, guys, if I go through here now and I use the scry thing, I just realized um, we can control the robot from it, which is kind of what we need to do. So, if we do this... Oh, here we go. So, we're, like, in it now. Oh, there we are. So, if we go through this red barrier, we've got our red mist in us. And then we go north through the human detection spell, which is pretty clever. And we search these notes over here. We could find something pretty damn awesome. What are we going to find? Um, a small card between the pages. Uh, C-E-G-A, that just said, yeah? C-E-G-A. Cool. Okay, so we've got the code. I'll remember that. We can now open this. C-E-G-A. That's what we got to remember. C E G. Hey, so that means that our code is going to be seven. Yep. Yeah. Six. Three. Six. That didn't seem to work. How does that not work? Oh, C E G A. Uh, C E G A. So that's C E G and A. Um. Maybe it's like a combination of them, I don't know. Let's try this. 6842. 684. Oh, whoops, wrong way. Wrong way. 2. Oh, why is that not working? Ah, that's really frustrating me. So, we know the code. We definitely know the code. I've put the decoder strips on it. Um. I don't know. I'm going to try to figure it out. One second. Guys, I've done it. It took a long time, but I figured out how to do that. So we can open this now and we can smash this black prism. Um, you what, Tom? The code was CGA. I don't know if it's different for everyone else. Tom is here, by the way, as well. He's just watching. And um, there we go. So if I leave this room now, we can sort that out. That was really hard to do, actually. I don't know if I was doing it wrong or something, but it was kind of... I don't know. It was a bit off. What was the the numbers I had to put in, I can't remember the numbers I had to put in. Um, kind of not. But I think people get different codes. Um, I'm pretty certain that's how it works in the last quest. Because otherwise you wouldn't need the code, you'd just be able to just go up to it and do it. It'd be kind of easy. So, right, let's go talk to Arav, see what he has to say for himself. Um, I think it's him we got to speak to. He should be freed now or something. Um, let's see. I feel free, yes! Woohoo! So, he's free. We've got him sorted. Oh, oh, he's mad now. Um, let's see. Oh. Oh, dear. So, there's been a bit of angriness going on. There's no fighting, is there? I feel fantastic. But, if we're to fight Zimorigal, we need to retrieve my heart. So, we need to find his heart now. Where's his heart? Um, I think it's upstairs somewhere. Oh, okay. That's that quest done. So, we're up to the final one. And that is going to be really fun to do. So, that's all done. That was really good fun. Even though it was probably the longest one. Um, didn't video it all, of course. But it was probably the longest one I've done. So, guys. I'm just going to use all these reward lamps quickly. You get loads of XP for this. Like, a ton of it. Look at all this XP just flying in. Only 2k construction. That's a bit rubbish. But still, let's see. And the combat one in one of these. You know what? I'm going to put it in attack. Because why not? 15k attack XP. There we go. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like and a comment. All that good stuff. If you're new or you just haven't got around to it yet, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos. Anyway, that is me for today. I'll catch you guys in the final episode of this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.